this was this next thing was not in any of the three parts of the keynote, but this comes from Steve, which he found. Uh, I guess actually he found it over on uh, on Mac Rumors, but uh, but they found it in one of in the documentation for one of the sessions at uh, at WWDC that Apple in- introduced a new mail kit framework for mail extensions. Now this is to me this was huge news because. Mail plugins have been one of these things that have been tolerated, but really not supported by Apple. Like the, if like all the people that make all the mail plugins that John and I talk about on the show or Dave Mark talked about one, like those people are basically on their own to figure out how to do what they do. Like Apple does not have a whole lot of support for them. Well, now they do, but these plugins are limited uh, or the, the frameworks are, are limited in macOS Monterey, but they have four categories that mail extensions can use compose. So things that are for when composing email actions that like custom rules for incoming mail, uh, such as color coding an email or moving it to a separate inbox or marking it as red or flagged, right? Content blocking and message security. So extensions that can sign or encrypt email. So I, like, I'm not sure if something like signature profiler, could work, but actually I guess it could John, because that's composing an email, right? That's one of the ones that we use is compose. Um, I don't know if things like sending an email on a delay would work still, which is something mail act on does, uh, because the rules, these actions are only, it, it says in Apple's documentation, only apply, only applicable to incoming emails, but the fact that Apple has created these and hopefully will expand them to me is a really good thing. Uh, but we'll, we'll see what our, our mail plugin developers friends think about this and we'll go from there. But thank you for sending that in, Steve. It's good. Uh, good stuff. So. 